Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about the trailer that was just released yesterday. Also, we got a big interview where Eric Wallace talks about Zoom potentially coming back. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so yes, we got a new trailer. They dropped this. This is actually footage from episodes one to five. So this is like a kind of Kickstarter trailer that introduces some of the stuff that is going to be coming up and isn't necessarily going to be in episode two. Obviously, we had the episode two trailer yesterday, so please be sure to go check out my trailer breakdown. That was the last video before this. Also, I uploaded my review for The Flash and Superman and Lois, the premiere of The Flash and episode two of Superman and Lois. They are up on the channel right now, so go check them out if you haven't. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So the first shot of the trailer, and so like I said, this is episode one, two, three, four, and five footage. So I don't know what specific episodes these are from, apart from a few where we kind of get the gist of where they're from because of behind the scenes leaks. So the first shot of the trailer, you've got Cisco here with Chester. And it seems like they're doing some sort of charity work to benefit Central City because if you see what Cisco is wearing, his jumper says Central City Strong. So we've never seen anything really like this. This is completely out of the blue and I wasn't expecting anything like this. It seems like what they're doing is they're creating something. They've got like a sanding machine. They've got like a bunch of wooden things. So they're setting up maybe like a concert place. I don't know because you can see in the background they've been sawing out all of this wood and they're setting up something basically. And it seems like it is definitely something to do with charity to benefit Central City. So that's kind of nice and it's kind of nice to see something different going on on The Flash rather than just like family drama, team drama or like facing off against villains. Okay, so let's go on to the next shot. So it looks like in Star Labs, we got Barry here on the ground with the Flash suit. And I don't know what's particularly happening in the scene. But it's just a cool shot of Barry as he's getting up. And so moving on, we've got Barry talking to Cecile. And so just before this, Barry says in the trailer, we've gone through hell and I'm not going to let anything tear us down again. So basically he's talking about what's happened, especially this season towards the end of the season and at the start of the season, obviously due to the pandemic because it got pushed back and we have these three episodes that would have finished last season. So basically they've been all split up. You know, last episode it was like the bare bones of Team Flash was left. It was just Chester, him, Nash and Allegra and that's it. And like the main Team Flash members like Iris, Cisco and Caitlin were all gone and so I believe this is what he's talking about. He's gone through hell and everyone's been torn apart. Like Iris has been gone for so long, along with her, Camilla and everyone. So they're not gonna let anything get to them. And so in this trailer, what Cecile says to Barry is that when she's scared, she asks, what would the Flash do? And so this is the conversation they're having right here with Barry staring at Cecile. And then you got this shot of Cecile and she is just comforting Barry and talking about like how important the Flash is and how influential he is to people around the city and not just to her, even though he's so important to everyone surrounding him. Okay, so let's move on to the next shot. We got Caitlyn here, she's smiling. She's definitely in Star Labs because you can see some sort of graph going off in the background. Don't know what's happening here, but then we move on to Chester inside Star Labs as well in the Cortex and he says, the Flash doesn't need big fists, he's got a big heart. And this is true and the trailer is actually called Heart, like that is what they kind of put as the tagline for the trailer. And it is a big thing and a big running theme throughout the show that basically, yes he's powerful, however, even though he needs his speed and he needs his superpowers sometimes to defeat people like Eva, it's his heart that is most important. Okay, so we move on to the next shot, we got Cecile right here and she is in some sort of explosion and I just freeze framed it at this point because you can make out it's a seal but there is basically sparks flying everywhere so there's some sort of attack. I don't know what episode this is from but then we move on to the next shot and we got the return of Abracadabra so it's really exciting to see David back. David is the actor and obviously you've seen him in like a bunch of different things. He was in Dark Knight films and the recent Ant-Man films. However, he was Abracadabra in season three of The Flash and he hasn't returned since then. And he teased a lot of what was to happen in season three. He had a relationship to Savitar. So I'm wondering why he's back. We know this is like episode five, I believe. Could possibly be episode four. It's one of those two episodes, but he's gonna be back. We know blood work. Well, at least his CGI form is gonna be back in this episode as well. So it seems like this is one of the first big kind of threats 
going into the next graphic novel, as Eric Wallace calls it. So moving on from the Eva stuff, this will be one of the next episodes afterwards, and you're going to have the return of Abracadabra, who was a big character for a little portion, and then he's referenced later in the season a couple of times. So yeah. Let's move on to the next bit, you've got Barry here, this is an awesome shot, probably my favourite of the trailer, and you got him getting ready to run and his lightning sparks off of him, he runs and he looks very, very serious. So I don't believe this was actually from episode 1 because I tried to go back and scroll through the episode and I couldn't find this shot, so I'm presuming it's going to happen sometime in the next few episodes. I'm not sure if it's going to be like episode 4 or 5, it looks very serious, so I'm guessing maybe it's against Eva. Okay, so we got this shot here. Seems like Barry is running up the building. You can see his lightning coursing behind him as he runs up. And yeah, so this is definitely a new shot because he's got his powers back. He is in full throttle and he's taking no prisoners right here. Okay, so Barry also along with this says, I won't let fear control me. And so this is just like your normal kind of motivational line that goes along with him motivating himself to stop the villain. Okay, so let's move on. We got this shot of Iris here and it seems like this is in jitters. I presume this is from episode 4 or 3 or 5 because it doesn't look like this is in the mirrorverse because there's like a bunch of people and there is a big flashing light and that's why the screen looks so bright. So I don't know what's happening here, but there is some sort of explosion or big kind of effect going off. And so it does seem like this is where Iris is back. But now I actually think about it when you go to the next shot, it's the exact same colors. So I'm actually saying this is not in Jitters. This is in fact in Star Labs. So my bad, but yeah, let's move on to this shot. So we've got Barry right here and you've got Killer Frost in the background. They're in their kind of bar, I guess you would call it. And so he is looking up as well. He doesn't have that kind of bright effect on him. However, he is there and they are looking in the same general vicinity. So something is going down in Star Labs. And again, moving on, something is definitely going down in Star Labs with Cisco flying onto the ground. And there is explosions going off everywhere. And it seems like this could be the artificial speed force backfiring because you can see the power device here. However, he does have a gun in his hand. So I think they are being attacked by some sort of intruder. I don't know if it's either or not, or if it's going to be in a later episode. But then we move on and we're outside in Central City. Seems like this is part of the first shot. So it's like just later in the day and Cisco and Chester are hanging out. And it seems like this is part of their charity event and it's like them taking a break. And then moving on from the explosion stuff in Star Labs, you got Barry right here and there's like a bunch of smoke around him. So I presume it's from the same rough time period there's definitely some sort of attack going down. Okay, so we move on and we got Barry's lightning and the artificial speed force going off everywhere. And I just wanted to include this because you can see the blue lightning with the yellow lightning. And obviously Barry's lightning didn't change. It did change for a minute when he got a hold of the speed force just for that first moment that you can see on the screen right here. It does have the blue lightning, but that isn't going to stick around. That was just for the start. And also, according to an EW interview with Eric Wallace, which we're going to go over because there is some important stuff about Zoom that was said. Basically, in that interview, Eric confirmed that, yes, the Speed Force, the artificial Speed Force, is a temporary solution. And they're not going to be able to use this this whole time. So, they're going to find a way to create a new Speed Force that is sustainable and they can keep on using. And so, yeah, I thought I would bring that up. We move on and we got Cisco here and he's saying... Just your normal Tuesday and it's a reference to the flash being on on Tuesday and you got Barry here and the most important thing of this apart from it looking like a really cool shot is Iris is right back here so this is episode 3 4 or 5 I'm guessing it's 4 or 5 because they look very happy Iris smiling as well as Barry and so they're in Star Labs everyone is reunited everyone is back together and so yeah I can't wait to see that so that is it for the trailer now let's move on to this EW interview because there's some interesting stuff. And so I'm mainly going to be talking about the villain stuff in this interview. Maybe we'll go over some of the other things that Eric Wallace confirms in this interview. However, let's move on to what I want to talk about specifically. So they ask a question about the graphic novels and he goes on to talk about the villains. That being Eric Wallace, of course, the showrunner of The Flash. Okay, so he says, I'm particularly excited to bring back a big bad from the first three seasons of The Flash and I hope 
fans will enjoy the person's return as much as I did, it's just going to be awesome. So now, who could this be in reference to? Well, I'm not sure if it's going to be in reference to like Reverse Flash, I think that would be like everyone's top pick to return because they were supposed to do something with Reverse Flash at the end of last season and set it up for this season. So I'm presuming at some point he's going to return and that will provide a way for Tom Kavanaugh to return as well. However, he may just be referencing Abracadabra here. However, I wouldn't call Abracadabra a big bad right here. So I don't know if he is referencing that, but if it is an actual big bad, it's supposedly not Zoom, which we'll get to in a minute, and it's not Zavatar, and I'm guessing it's Reverse Flash. And he's talking in the past tense, so it seems like they've shot something already with this returning character, so who could it be? Okay, so in answer to this, EW says, is it Zoom? And Eric Wallace replies, no, I can only say that because of the first three speedster villains, everybody knows that I have a special place in my heart for Zoom. So he adds this, everybody loves Savitar, but I love me some Zoom and I love me some season two. I am determined at some point to bring Zoom back, even if it's only for a few episodes. I haven't figured out how yet, but I will do it. Give me time. So now this is very exciting because this is the confirmation that yes, yeah, Zoom is going to return at some point whilst Eric Wallace is a showrunner. And I think Eric Wallace is going to be the showrunner until the show ends. It just seems like everyone is really happy with what he's doing. So I think Zoom is definitely going to return and it's a good sign that he's his favorite big bad. So I think Zoom could totally return, he hasn't figured it out yet, obviously he wouldn't reveal it in an interview, it would be a surprise if Zoom came back, so he's not going to reveal it, so maybe there is something in the back of his mind, however it's probably not going to happen like right now, it may happen like next season because we got the confirmation that season 8 is happening, so what happens if in season 8 you had the return of Zoom for like a mini arc, and there was sort of like an open-endedness to The Flash's 100th episode where you had Zoom returning and he went away. So could they somehow link it back to that or will it be like another time travel episode where we get to meet Zoom again? So yeah, I would be really interested in that and I'm glad that Eric is totally in for this. But right now that supposed big bad that is coming back isn't going to be Zoom. He also mentioned Savitar, so I don't think it is Savitar. I'm rooting for... Reverse Flash. It does seem like he is referencing Reverse Flash here, but not 100% as of right now. Also, he goes on to say stuff about the big bads in graphic novels 3 and 4. That means just like the whole rest of the season. And he says both of the big bads for graphic novel number 3 and 4, we've got some new characters. I don't think it's any spoiler to say at some point this season, we might just meet the real Godspeed. But the way he fits into Barry's life, I think is going to come in a more unexpected way. As far as the other big bads of the season, let's just say we'll continue to introduce a major big bad that has not been seen in previous seasons. I think we can accurately say that. As far as their connection and to why they are in conflict with the Flash, that might be a secret connection in Barry's past that he is unaware of. So now this is some really interesting teases for the new villains. So yes, Godspeed's going to return. We're going to see the real Godspeed or whoever is controlling these Godspeed clones. He is going to be one of the big bads of the season. And then the other big bad that he teases is going to be a completely new character. And that character does have a link to Barry's past. So once again, this pretty much backs up the idea that this could be Cobalt Blue because if a version of Eddie Thorne comes back, that is a definite secret connection that Barry is unaware of. Like if a different version or if like somehow Eddie survived and became Cobalt Blue, Barry would be completely unaware of that and it would take him back and I think this is really the way forward. I'm not 100% sure if that is going to happen, however I think that is one of the best theories considering what Eric has teased in this interview and what's been teased in the past because also the synopsis for the whole season mentioned that the next big bad is going to come directly out of what happens with Eva and it's also related to Barry and Iris's relationship. And who is heavily related to Barry and Iris's past relationship? Well, Eddie Thorne. So I don't know, it just all seems to kind of line up. I'm kind of rooting for Cobalt Blue and I'm rooting for Godspeed to show up. Obviously Godspeed will show up and I hope he's not just like the normal version of Godspeed. And Eric does confirm that it's not going to be in the way that you expect so I don't think it is going to be August Heart like we've seen before and like it is in the comics. I think it's going to be someone that we know, but it's going to be not August Heart, you know, so someone else. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video 
and if you are excited for the rest of The Flash Season 7, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos, also turn on notifications if you haven't. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.